One of the things that I think is really in play out of the optimism of this period is Philadelphia develops its own sense of industrial modernism and an aesthetic, a beauty of industrial modernism. It's not that there's science on the one hand and art on the other hand. That's not this period. And they start building buildings in this city. Furness is a crucial part of this um, that are industrial modernism, but not Bauhaus modernism. They're Philadelphia modernism. These are extraordinary pieces of masonry, um, pieces of glasswork, uh, car and it's all just the junk of the 20th century economy, but it's an expression of the sense of power and the belief that industrialism was productive of beauty, which goes back to the miracle, the sense of miracle, that we are so strong, we are so mighty, we are so good, in, a, in an ethical sense, good, that we can overcome any obstacle. And the obstacle they had their sights on was the British model of, of filth and immiseration. It's that sense that, that Philadelphia will be the place out of which the modern American future will come and it will be beautiful.